Bonjour, mes amis. I am Jessie and I run a lifestyle blog titled Cappuccinos and Consignment where I focus on lifestyle travel and finance. If you are new here, be on the new. And as I like to say, I am fluent in Fendi French and finance. Please take a moment, like, subscribe, all of those things. I'm trying to get better at announcing that. I didn't think I had to. I kind of thought that's what you do if you're on here, but I should start saying it. <laughs> and while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on Insta where I post pretty much daily, multiple times a day. So if you are a mezzo me over on Insta, you know um, several things. One, um, I just posted today that my family is going through like a very trying time. So um, I don't know how things are going to go with me on social media. I um, actually really enjoy this. This is a creative outlet for me. So maybe it'll increase or decrease. I don't know yet that I said that I would not buy any more bags until I get my Birkin. I am saving for my Birkin. I did a whole post about that, why I am choosing to save for my Birkin when I have the funds to just go ahead and buy it. There's a very specific reason as to why. And I posted that over on Insta. Actually, I think I may make a blog about that. I'm getting sidetracked. I do that often. Let's get into the bag that caused me to cheat on my Birkin capade. <laughs> That bag is, drum roll please, I guarantee you all will not guess. Actually, pause this video and like comment below and, and just guess. I'm, I'm hoping you'll be honest. <laughs> it is this beauty, Celine, Phoebe Philo edition. So just um really quick, I totally forgot that I ordered this bag. I got it in maybe about an hour ago and I am so thrilled. It is the distraction that I needed because again, um, I stated things are just really difficult right now in my family. So much so that I forgot that I ordered like one of my dream bags. This bag has been on my eye catching list um, for some time, actually since 2015, that's when this bag debuted. And I um I loved it. The moment I saw it, I loved the bag. At the time, I feel like they only had small and mediums. This is a large, but I'll get into that later. And I fell in love, but in 2015, um, there was no way I could afford a bag that cost um, this much. I also speak about my life before the Chanel and all the luxury goods. So it actually, it just wasn't an option for me to buy this bag then. Be that as it may, I am glad that I did wait. Not that this bag is trendy. I don't consider it trendy. Um, I haven't read up about it to see if it's one of those in and out bags, which I truly don't care about. I always tell Mazumi, buy what you want. Don't rely on these what's in, what's out. But I am so excited. Um, I chose the large because um, I, I don't know if I'm coming home sometimes. <laughs> Just kidding. But I carry my life in my bag or curious rather how this will hold up since it's just a single top handle with that i'm glad i did not buy this bag in 2015 for one because it i would have paid retail this bag retails for i want to say 27 or 2500 somewhere along those lines i purchased this bag pre-loved because it has been discontinued i got it for a fraction of the cost I want to say $550. That did not include taxes and shipping, which I did ground shipping because I do not like paying for shipping. But be that as it may, $500 compared to $2,500, I feel like I got a deal. Um, just looking at it, I am, I'm so in love. The color is so vibrant. I'm not sure if it's picking up accurately with the camera. I'm in love with the size. I'll stand up. And to put it into perspective, I am 5'9", we mess with me. <laughs> and I, I think it's, I think it's lovely. I think it's darling. I'm actually just trying this out. So you all are learning with me. So just at first glance, again, it's pre-loved. So it has a little wear and that's totally fine with me because Meza me over on Insta know that I do not baby my bags, my Chanel, my LVs. I, I don't. I will baby my Birkin 
I'm putting that out there. But I don't baby my yes. bags. So that's one of the reasons why I actually like pre-love. There's other reasons too, and I've spoke about that on other blogs. So, okay, at first glance, love it, but there's a caveat. With bags, like colored bags, did that come out right? Colored bags? Do we say colored bags? Bags of color? I don't know. Help me, Mezami. With colorful bags, I will say, I noticed that a lot of design houses do this thing that I am not crazy about. And that's like the black binding, piping, leather. Is, oh, and that's what I should include. This bag is leather. This is drummed calf hair. It is leather. And I cannot emphasize that enough, rather, because... All these bags, LV, canvas, it's canvas. It's not leather. This is leather. I have a red bag. I want it to be red. And um, I saw that when I ordered this online and I will link some similar bags below. I'll do all the linking. I'll link the scarf and earrings if I can. This is um, Hermes. This is actually new, so they may still have this in store. The earrings are vintage. Moving along, I, I don't think this is going to be a problem. And I say that because of the price. Had I paid full price, I, I don't think I would have kept it because that that is troublesome to me. So let's see, we're gonna look in here together. There is a back zipper here. One of the things that I have read about with this bag, a lot of people didn't like the opening, but we'll get to there. Oh, she was an organized person. They were an organized person who had this bag. Let's see. Oh, it's all the deeds. How much does she pay for this? Yeah, $2,500, $2,550. Yep, so it's all like the tags and everything in here. Merci beaucoup person who owned this. So, okay, back pocket. This is what I've heard the most negative reviews about. People didn't like how when you opened it, it did that. I don't think that'll be an issue for me. I haven't even looked inside. This is... I love it. So here, Celine bags are made in Italy. Italia. I love it. It's leather inside as well. There's pockets here. I'm guessing phones. I don't know. I don't think phones in 2015 were the size of iPads. But I can find something to fit there. It also... Oh, I don't know. It feels like there's something in here. This pouch it feels like there's oh i should cut this part out i'm like there's something in here i feel like there's something in here it connects to the back part it tests this out because it closes so i i will wear it like this wings out that's what these parts are referred to the wings and it okay but i've seen people tuck it in this is how it looks closed i have to learn how to close this thing That's how it looks closed. What do you think? I'm all about the wing. It's, it's just drama. I love it. Again, I am going to link some of the similar bags below. The color, the kind of leather. I will have all of that linked yeah. below. <laughs> I am super excited. Tell me what you all think. Let's chat all things bags. I do. I like this. I'm going to back up. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you think. Alrighty. Ciao for now.